The easiest way to mix two songs with big BPM differences is to use the break start effect. I'll start by showing you two easy transitions that are beginner friendly, then I'll show you two pro transitions that are also easy to do. Let's get started. Before you start your transition, try to follow these two rules. Rule number one, choose songs that your audience knows well. This way, their excitement will distract them from noticing any BPM change and will keep them on the dance floor for longer. Rule number two, surprise your audience with your next song, because let's be honest, everyone loves a good surprise. Speaking of surprises, here's a little surprise for you. Soldier boy. Now let's get to the transitions. I've already introduced the break start transition, which happens to be one of the easiest tricks in the book. First, you'll need to grab the break FX pads. To do this, head over to the extensions tab located in your settings. Look for the pad section and install the break FX pads. If you can't find them right away, simply load them by right clicking on any pad section and selecting break FX from the drop down menu. These pads offer creative variations of the break start effect, ensuring your transitions sound fresh every time. Now let's put it into action. I have Rihanna's Rude Boy on deck 1, and it's at 87 BPM. Bearing in mind the first rule, I'll transition into a well-known song by Chameleon Air, which is at 143 BPM. When I get to the transition point, I'll simply activate any of the break FX tabs and play the next song after the effect wears off. Another easy transition is the echo out transition, which is mostly done after the chorus. To execute this transition, you'll need the echo out effect, which you can grab from the extensions tab. Simply navigate to effects, search for echo out, and install the one by Automix Productions. It's my go-to choice for this type of transition. Just as we did with the break start transition, when you reach the transition point, activate the echo out effect and seamlessly introduce the next song. Now let's elevate our game by exploring some pro-level transitions. The wordplay transition is the most creative one yet. This transition is initiated when one song ends with a word that the second song starts with. Here's a good example. That can only mean one thing. Ever since I left the city. You. Soldier boy, tell. As you can already tell, all it takes is stopping the first song just as Drake gets ready to say you and launching the second song right as Soldier Boy says the same word. You can actually automate this process by custom mapping one pad or key to do it for you effortlessly. To do this, head to the mapping tab on your settings. Pick your desired key, then assign it the following action. I'll leave this in the description for you. Our final transition taps into Stems, one of the most powerful features on Virtual DJ. If you're not already familiar, Stems allow you to dissect songs into their individual elements, separating vocals from instruments and more. You can utilize stems to jump BPMs using a transition like this. Let me break it down for you. First, I activated the echo out effect on vocals only using the Stems FX pad that I downloaded from the pad section under extensions. By isolating the vocals, I left the instrumental part of the first song playing, creating anticipation for what's coming next. To add some extra flair, I incorporated vocal samples, which I'll share with you in the description. Once the sample finished playing, I seamlessly transitioned to the second song by applying the break start effect to the instrumental part of the first song. It's all about combining these effects to craft a dynamic and engaging mix. Before our next video, take a look at our Virtual DJ 2023 playlist. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks.